Welcome back everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tudor, back today with another great node. And this time we're looking at vines, we're looking at hanging vines, and we're looking at creeper vines. And basically I've set this up just to show you what you can actually do with them. And trust me when I say, this took me literally two or three minutes to actually set up. So without further ado, let me show you exactly what we've got. So what I'm gonna do is, first of all, I've got an empty um, piece of stone here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you exactly how this uh, node system works, so that if you do actually end up clicking on the links and purchasing this, you'll know exactly how to get it to work. First of all, just make sure that you reset all of your transforms, right clicks at origin to geometry, and please, please make sure that you actually have um, all of the modifiers applied onto your mesh. So in other words, if you've got a bevel on here, make sure it's actually applied. Next of all, what we're gonna do then, we're gonna bring in a curve. So I'm gonna bring in a Bezier curve. And what I'm gonna do is, you can see I've got my curve here. I'm actually gonna press tab to go into edit mode and then delete it out of the way. So delete vertices. Next, what I'm gonna do then, is I'm gonna come over to the left hand side. I'm gonna make sure that I've got my draw on. And then what I'm gonna do is just draw on to my actual mesh. Make source surfaces on, and you should end up with something like this. Now let's uh, press tab. And what we're gonna do now is go over to the left, uh, right hand side add in my geometry node, and the one we look one is the vines curve. And straight away, you'll see, hey, something's actually happening. So now what we can do from here is, let's first of all give it a material. This pack does come with the material, so vine main, just bring that in. And you can see already these are looking pretty nice. And then what we're gonna do is let's turn down the resolution to something like 30. We've got a lot of control over this. Let's uh, turn up the density a little bit to give us a few more down uh, strokes of our actual vines and let's of course bring in our leaves so I'm going to bring in I've got all these collections that I've actually made for you I'm going to use the first one I'm going to put the density on something like 100 and hey presto there you go you've actually got your vines in there now what we can do from here is we can come in and actually increase the hanging vines so we can increase the length of these if we want to where uh, however long we want them let's put it on 0.5 let's also increase the length randomness to 0.2 like so. Now let's come into our straight vines. So let's uh, increase the length something like two. And you can see now they're actually hanging down even further. Now you will notice that these at the moment, they're actually popping through there. And that is because when we drew these on, we actually drew these through the actual top of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in and I'm going to press tab and I'm actually going to delete this. So I'm gonna press A, delete them. Yes, you can delete them on the fly as well. And then all I'm gonna do now is come under. So I'm gonna press control seven and I'll draw them along here instead. And there you go. Now we've actually got hanging vines hanging from here. If I press tab now, double tap the A, and there we go. And not only can you do it on the sides, you can actually put them on wherever you want. So if I wanna draw them um, coming over here, like so, or like so, and there we go. Simple as that, hanging vines. Now the other thing you can obviously do here is we can also come and increase the radius of them. So if I want this on 0.05 for instance and make them much, much thicker, you'll see now they can go crazily thick. Let's turn it down to something more appropriate. 0.003, I think that's what it was set on. Yeah, and something like that looks pretty nice. Now, um, I actually I've gone a little bit too thin there. Let's put it on 0.005, let's put it on that. And there we go, maybe even a little bit higher, 0.008, let's try that. And there we go. And then what you can do is you can also come down and, uh, and increase the density of the hanging vines. So I can put this on something like five, for instance, and then you will end up with a lot more hanging vines, as you can see. So really, really useful for your hanging vines. And what we've done over here on this part here is it's exactly what I've done. I've just drawn in a load of hanging vines and that's exactly what I've got. Now it does get better than that though, because what we can also do is we have another one, which is actually creeper vines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my monkey, I'm gonna press Shift S, cursor selected, I'm gonna press Shift A, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in an empty. Now you don't need to use an empty, but it is great to use it because it means wherever this empty is, that is where the vines are actually going to be growing from. And now let's come in and add our geometry node. So add modifier, geometry node, click the down arrow, and the one we want is mesh vine. And then what I'm going to do is use the star empty. So basically I'm going to use this empty I created, click it on, and then turn this, uh, empty that one, and then bring in the new empty just by clicking on it like so. And then finally, let's come up and give it some length. So let's put it on four, and there you go. Simple as that. You can see already now we've got a load of vines. Now the best thing about this, let's first of all bring in some leaves though. So what I'm gonna do, increase the density to 100, 
and there we go now we've got leaves and now wherever I move this empty so if I move this empty round as you can see wherever I put it that is where the actual vines are going to be start growing from which is really handy when we're doing things like this you can see it's starting from here it's starting from here and let's say I want to turn it around here we can do that really really easily the other great thing um, about this one if I come back to it now is we've got all of these options which we can actually change so in other words we can change the radius we can change the radius fall off we can change the resolution just in case you want something a little bit um, you know lower on the resolution and we can also change the material in here so at the moment you can see the materials like this let's come in and change that on the fly then so we can change it to vines main and there we go we've got a much much nicer material we can also come in and change the leaves so if i come in grab the leaves and i'll grab leaves too let them load up and there we go now luckily for us some of these leaves obviously are going to be a little bit smaller but all i can do is just set them to 0.1 something like that and make them much much bigger like so we also have a randomness as well with the leaves so we can change that and i have gave you a lot of actual leaves to work with so if we come down i can change them to this i can change them to this one i can change them to uh this one here like so so you can see lots and lots of leaves that you've got to work with let's put it back on on the leaves now and let's set this down to 0.02 something like that and there we go um, and you can see also what we can do is bring back the length. So if I start bringing back this length, you will see that the actual growth of uh, these actual vines starts to really, really come back. And finally, the best thing is, of course, you might not like the look of this one. We can also come in and change the seed of it, of course. And finally, as well, I know everyone's going to want this. You want to be able to change the actual mesh offset. So let's first of all change the length back to five or something like that and let's then bring out the mesh offset and you can see now it actually brings it away from the actual mesh and that is what you want because sometimes you know it's going to be hidden a lot within the mesh maybe not this far but let's put it on 0.04 something like that and there you go now you can see a lot of it covering uh the actual monkey that we have here all right everyone so that is our jungle vine um geometry node we can also see if i put this onto object mode this is exactly what it's going to look like so you can see it looks really really nice and you can see how quickly we are able to put those in so at the moment we probably have around 20 different geometry nodes i will put some down on the bottom right hand side here so you can actually go down check out our gum road all of the links will be down below also we've ch completely changed our patreon now so if you're following us on patreon or if you've not checked out our patreon please go and check it out you will see it's one of the best in the industry for what it actually has to offer finally the victorian scene i know a lot of you are waiting for that um it is coming out at the end of february as we said we're working hard now actually just finishing everything up and then we've got to obviously edit it but if you haven't already Go and check that out it's actually at the moment you're able to get a massive discount on it on pre-order and it will be out in maybe a couple of weeks something like that all right everyone so i really hope you enjoy this geometry node and i'll see you on the next one thanks a lot everyone bye bye